25 days into a partial government shutdown and Democrats are still arguing that spending $5 billion on a border wall is not only racist, but a waste of taxpayer money. Bad move, guys, because if you really wanna go down that road, I will show you some wastes of taxpayer money. Hey guys, welcome back to Reality Check on MRC TV. I'm Brittany Hughes, and it's officially day 25 of this partial government shutdown. And you know, Democrats still refuse to commit that 5.7 billion that Trump's requested for part of a border wall to help secure our country against rampant illegal immigration. Now, after they get done calling it racist, xenophobic, and anti-American, they like to throw out this argument, that it's a waste of taxpayer dollars. Yeah, the party of big government spending and sky-high taxes is suddenly concerned about fiscal responsibility. Now, never mind that this shutdown has already cost the U.S. billions. It's apparently a waste of our money to spend 0.1% of a $4.4 trillion federal budget to secure our borders and protect our people from illegal aliens, dangerous criminals, and drugs. Now, here's why this argument is so hilarious. The U.S. government wastes our money all the time, every single day. In fact, here are just a few things that they spent our money on in just the past several years. We spent $65 million on Pacific Coastal Salmon Recovery. Now, I love a good salmon filet. I cook mine in some herb butter with a nice mango salsa. But you know, I'd also love it if our cities weren't infested with MS-13 gang violence and we weren't finding the bodies of teenagers shot to death and hacked up with machetes. So you know, if we can spend $65 million saving some fish, surely we can shuck out a few bucks to keep out dangerous thugs from other countries. Just a thought. We also spent $11 million on an aquatic plant control program and $663,000 for a brown tree snake eradication program in Guam. Every effort to eradicate the invasive species has so far failed. We gave $13 million to the Save America's Treasures Grants Program and $2.8 million to the National Capital Arts and Cultural Affairs Grant Program. Not a clue. In 2018, we gave $17 million to the Asia Foundation, which is, quote, committed to improving lives across a dynamic and developing Asia. And another $16.7 million to the East West Center in Hawaii. We don't really know what they do. We also gave about $67 million to the National Endowment for Democracy, which is supposed to help support democracies all across the world. Don't really know what they do either. Did you know that since the year 2000, we have spent more than 52 million on housing for chimpanzees? No! The National Institutes for Health spent five years and 1.6 million on a study to determine whether people who are paid to lose weight lose more than those who are not paid to lose weight. Get in my belly! Now here in common sense land, we just call that duh. In 2017, the National Endowment for the Arts spent $30,000 in taxpayer grant money on a production of Hamlet starring, get this, dogs. And all of this isn't even a drop in the bucket. The list goes on and on and on without end. From billions spent on DOD projects that were ultimately scrapped to millions in grants for things like teaching a lion how to walk on a treadmill and studying aggression levels in hamsters, Congress has appropriated and wasted obscene amounts of our money on ridiculous crap for years. So if congressional Democrats were truly concerned about wasting taxpayer dollars, they wouldn't be tossing our hard-earned cash out the window like it was monopoly money. And maybe, just maybe, we wouldn't be nearly $22 trillion in debt. So until Capitol Hill stops doling out millions for things like preserving the Domaki language of northern Pakistan, yeah, that was a thing, you can spare me your lectures about how securing our country is suddenly a waste of taxpayer money. Get off your worthless rear ends down there in Puerto Rico and build the dang wall. And that's your reality check, America. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube page, like us on Facebook and Twitter, and stay sane out there. <laughs>